And here's something that's pretty interesting that just happened. The folks at Autodesk has just recently acquired Wonder Dynamics. Now, for those who have no idea, Wonder Dynamics owns a tool called Wonder Studio. And Wonder Studio is an amazing AI tool that you can use to automatically animate, light, and compose CG characters into your live action scenes. Of course, we're like one of the first channels to cover this once this was out, and it got pretty viral, and a lot of you guys did know about it. And it is quite interesting to see this update is coming from the folks at Autodesk. As the folks at Autodesk has just recently announced that they've acquired Wonder Dynamics, which is offering a cloud-based AI technology to empower more artists to create more 3D content across media and entertainment industries. Wonder Dynamics is highly compatible with popular 3D tools like Autodesk Maya and so on, and it is pretty interesting to see that Autodesk is taking this move to actually grab them. Over the past few weeks, we've seen Autodesk do a few things in terms of the design and make industry, and it is quite interesting to see that this is happening. It says right here that Autodesk's acquisition of Wonder Dynamics would give more creators the ability to add 3D animated characters to their project and stories while minimizing the learning curve and automating typical complex and time consuming process. And of course, the terms of this deal were not disclosed, but I kind of think that it has to do with Autodesk move of bringing AI technologies into their make and design industry. And with the executive vice president of media and entertainment at Autodesk saying that bringing Wonder Dynamics into the Autodesk media and entertainment portfolio extends our history of empowering artists with innovative and accessible solutions that breaks down barriers to entry. And right here, Diana went on to say that in the 1990s, we helped artists learn how to use computers to create 3D graphics leading to the industry we see today, and Wonder Dynamics is our next step on that journey. By embracing emerging technologies, we want to help teams and creators of all sizes and skill levels create more content more easily, so everyone has the power to bring their inspiring stories to life. And this is very strategic for Autodesk. Actually, they went on to say that the acquisition of Wonder Dynamics is another strategic step towards supporting Autodesk's long-term mission of unbridled creativity and connecting teams, data, and processes with Flow, which is the media and entertainment industry cloud on Autodesk's design and make platform. And for those who don't know that, if you simply go over to the next link, which is going to be in the description, this is going to bring you right here where you can read up on Autodesk Flow. And the whole idea here is to connect teams. And that is also one way that the folks at Autodesk are looking at working with this. And when asked if this is going to change things, it kind of looked like at this point, this is not going to change how we get to use Wonder Dynamics. If this is still going to be an open ecosystem or not, that is something that is still debatable. And of course, if you'd like to follow up on this, or maybe any of these pages that we just opened, links to that is also gonna be in the description. And with AI taking flight, lots of things seems to be happening. As just recently, the folks at Autodesk announced a beautiful AI project called Project Bernini. Very similar to what we've seen from the folks at Nvidia, Dream 3D, and also a few other tool sets out there that has been actually trying to create 3D models from images and also from prompts for a while now. And Project Bernini is also targeted to shaping the way we get to create. As the whole idea behind this project, which is more like a research effort, is for artists to quickly and easily generate 3D objects by simply using voxels, point clouds, text, single images, and also multiple images showing different views of the object. And this in itself is one move that Autodesk has announced to the public, which might definitely change how we get to create moving forward. Of course, for those who would like to see more about this, you can go over to the Autodesk AI Lab, which will bring you right here, where you can read up on a few things that folks at Autodesk AI Lab are currently working on. And we wonder dynamics, one can only wonder what the future holds. And for those who haven't tried this, how this works is literally very simple. All you have to do is log in, and once you log in, you can choose to create a new project and simply load a clip in. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and work with something that's already existing. And what you have here is the clip that you've loaded. So if you have a clip that you want to work with, you can simply load that in and you can now choose the actor you want to replace the character that you have in your scene. In a situation where you have multiple characters, of course, you can load in multiple stuff. So we can also go ahead and do that. And right here, we can say we would like to load a particular character. Click, drag, and drop into the viewport. And once we have that, we can click on Next. And then we can select what we would like. I'm just simply going to click on Processing. And this is going to quickly process that. And once it's done processing, you will press the playback button. You would notice that our main subject has been replaced by this character. And that is how simple it is. So you can do this all day, every day, and it's pretty, pretty cool. So you can, of course, go ahead and uh, get rid of this since we don't want to keep that. And depending on the kind of thing that you like to make, you can select them. So we've got a couple of them that we've done over time. So we had 
this one and then we converted it to that there's still other ones like these which is just full replacement of the main subject so if you're trying to export these you can choose to export the scene the clean plate the alphas the source footage all of these you can choose to export and then have the cg object and again this is for those who haven't tried it before and with autodesk owning this this can go one of two ways it's either they're going to allow every other person to use this like if you scroll all the way down you would notice that this is also available for a few users which includes blender unreal engine and also maya and i kind of think that with autodesk purchasing this it is going to be more for the maya artist this might eventually make it to maya as a tool as with the recent announcement of maya 2025.1 there is an update that has to do with the flurry topology which is also another interesting tool that now runs on the cloud that quickly and easily helps you do your topology instead of spending your local resources on your machine and i guess that might also be the same thing this might be a tool that would allow users to easily upload footages and generate full body motion capture, probably do some backplay things and also do some retargeting, stuff like that automatically with your CG characters and use it as basis to work with. This can come to Maya, 3D Studio Max or Motion Builder. The second way this can go is the folks at Autodesk will totally just snag these and it will no longer be available to the public just like Unity had done with Weta H and Weta M. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Autodesk has now finally purchased Wonder Dynamics and what tool else do you think they will be purchasing? And I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.